Terve ja hyvää päivää. This is Mika Toukola and we are replaying some CC1, which means chip challenge and the first levels, the original levels. We're playing in Lynx mode and in Tile World and with the MS game graphics. <laughs> and why am I doing it like this? Well, um, I was playing in Tile World originally and I switched the graphics to the ones from MS. And then when I played later in Lynx mode, the graphics here had also changed because um, the graphics file was the same. And at least for this first video here, I'm gonna use these graphics because this is how I've actually been playing CC1. And as you can see from how quickly I'm going through these levels, I'm not actually playing through them right now, but we're watching a replay of the of a previous solution I've done. And there's a couple of reasons I'm doing this. First of all, my main mot motivation to make this video was to get some of these uh, routes and solutions published. And I didn't want to make a video for every single level. Besides, this way, I get to speak and ramble on about levels like, whoa, there's a hint there, because this is a lesson level. Hits. See? Commentating on levels is much more fun than just watching a bland old video where there's the same exact solution that you've already seen in MS mode. <laughs> Speaking of which, there is um, a high score table uh, with this game in both MS mode and Lynx mode. Now the MS mode table has been up for like over 10 years and the levels have really been optimized there but the Lynx table hasn't been set up except at the beginning of this year it's 2013 now and um, not many people have played Lynx competitively and solved all these levels uh, and once we did started doing that, of course many of the levels have the exact same solution as in MS, and there's not, not much else to do than to go through the motions of playing through the same route as earlier, and then just reporting that score. And well, this level here, Nuts and Bolts, is the first real exception to this, as there are some elements here and behaviors that um, are different than in the MS um, solution. As you can see, there's no boosting, and there's some animation delay with the bombs and the splashes when you push blocks. And the monsters here, particularly the bugs, they move a bit differently, and you have to dodge them a little differently. So even on the scoreboard, uh, not all the levels are credited with, to the people who first scored them in Lynx mode, with the best scores currently. But uh, many of them are indirectly referencing the people who scored them in MS mode, because that's actually where they found the route that's also used here. And um, here, I'm here I was just playing around with block slapping, which did nothing to the route. actual time. But it seems I like to have fun sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Why would I be playing this game if I didn't? Well, the puzzles, yeah. But, um. So there we have it, nuts and bolts. And man, these are going really fast. I did not expect this to be this quick. I was expecting I could comment on the levels and say stuff. Well, I've been saying stuff, but not actually stuff about the levels. This is a really interesting level. Brush fire. And once you know the solution, you cannot die. They don't make levels like this before. See, commenting on levels is really interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess you just have to pick the right levels to comment on and the right levels to speak other stuff. Okay, he, he, here's an interesting um, level when you compare the MS route and the Lynx route. Here, I'll pause this here. No. No. No problems there with the fireball. In MS, all these force floors give you boosts, and in 
links, not so much. You, you just go a little bit quicker, but the boosting in MS actually, um, it's kind of a glitch where you go faster than you're supposed to logically be able to go. And in links, this doesn't happen, but the route that you take here is still the same as in MS, all the paths you go through, and just make sure you don't bump into any of the monsters. And it takes some time to learn the Lynx timing, how to control everything, so you don't lose any time. But I'll get into the technicalities of playing in Lynx and how to block slap and stuff like that in later videos. I don't want to waste time in the first video doing that. Um, this level Trinity was a good one to speak about stuff like that. Yeah, but now it's almost over. And the time for this level is much lower than the time in MS, but still the route is um, uh, referenced in the scoreboard as uh, transferred from MS, which means that there was no real work to be done to optimize it in links if you knew the MS solution. Uh, I'm gonna have to check if this level was one that also had a transfer route. Let's see. It's Hunt, level 12, and it's got a links bold of 269 and it's transferred. Generally speaking, when you have teeth monsters, uh, you can get them to do exactly the same thing as you can get them to do in MS. I, I mean, like between links mode and MS, um, there usually isn't any difference, particularly if you have just one teeth monster. The timing is very difficult sometimes to pull off, but usually, in theory, you should be able to do the same thing. Now when you have more than one teeth, it becomes a little different because of the monster order. And there are still some things I, for example, don't ex exactly understand about how teeth interact with other monsters, particularly if they're cloned and whatnot. The timing is very weird. Like in MS mode, you can start a level in either odd step or even step. But in Lynx mode, you can start in eight different modes. Yeah, there's odd step and even step, and odd step plus one, odd step plus two, odd step plus three, and the same ones for even step. And this just means that if you ever encounter a teeth in your level, you can adjust the mode you start with so that the teeth won't kill you even if you go to the tile that's right next to them. I, I bet we'll get some of those later. And the next level. First untimed level, South Pole. This is actually busted in MS, but not so in Lynx, because in Lynx you can't boost backwards off four floors. And that's what's needed to be done here to get the bust working. So, this is a very simple level to play in links. There. Oh, Teleblock. This has a very interesting bold route. And you'll see that the this is the same route I'm using here as uh, I think James Anderson published when he discovered it, though David Stolp, Pie Guy, was the first one to actually score the bold. MS. Now, usually what in links when uh, you're pushing blocks around, there are two main methods to save time compared to MS, and those are to use block slapping, which uh, this level does not use because the rooms are so small, and then to avoid splash delay and such, but here all the splashes and uh, come at the end of corridors, so it, it, there's no way to avoid.
enjoyed this waiting on the splash delay. Uh, here we have another level where the main difference in the route is the de animation delay, the bomb explosion delay. And just so if you've been wondering, um, an animation takes two and a half moves in links. So if there's some way to avoid waiting for that explosion and you waste two moves to avoid an explosion you gain half a move and it's worth it but many times it's not so simple to do that but yeah, sometimes it comes in handy when optimizing in links this level was actually an interesting one with the scores that were reported that uh, I, w I was the one who went through most of the levels and uh, made sure that the scores we like what the transferred scores were if you played through an MS route in Lynx and this was one where I made a mistake I thought the bold route would be uh, 87 seconds but in fact if you follow the exact route from MS, it's 87 seconds. And Ben Hornlitz was the one to first report the 87, but still it's considered a transferred score. And then later I noticed, maybe Ben noticed it too, I don't know, because he didn't uh, post his route. But the uh, one block slap I just did a bit earlier saved two moves compared to the MS route. So, But this doesn't save a second, so it's a transferred route. Oh, there's another block slap too. So those two block slaps, I think they saved a total of just two moves. Because the first one wasn't needed. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I guess the reason I messed up on this level initially was because uh, going through corridors like this in Lynx is not as simple as it looks. It's very easy to lose just a tiny amount of time if you don't press the right buttons and the keys at the right time. Uh, so even if you go through the proper route, you still might be missing some tenths of a second in Lynx. In MS, uh, this doesn't happen as much because you'd have to wait a whole move and to actually lose some time. But in links, it's easy to lose a few tenths here and a few tenths there and then not end up with the best possible score. Oh, nice day. 17. It's, this is still a transferred score route. And um, I guess not everyone might realize that this is a transferred route from MS at first because you have to do some dodging. Let's watch that again. So uh, here you first have to know how not to kill yourself. No, is it just the end? The point is that this route here um, doesn't get you killed. And no, <laughs> no, obviously it doesn't get you killed. The point is that this route transferred back into MS would also score the bold. And I believe the person who um, reported this uh, score in MS first, which was Christina Carrera. Carrera. Man, I shouldn't have tried to pronounce that. Um, would have scored the same in Lynx had she been playing in Lynx way back in the day. So it's also uh, considered a transferred route. Oh, what is this? Castle Moat. These levels come really quickly when you're just watching the replays. And this, of course, is a wonderfully not busted, but alternate solution <laughs> that's a word 
um, level and I for example had no clue that there were flippers under the one of the boxes here from playing like I played for years before I knew this and I found out online that this is a solution to the level and it's just amazing that this is a great alternate solution I, I love this solution yeah and there you have a castle great level okay a digger played an odd step this is also a transferred route and you can test your links playing skills by seeing if you can score this bolt because there are many instances where you go next to a teeth monster like that just keep in mind if it's possible in ms it's most likely possible in links and but there are some exceptions to it's really annoying to have to wait exactly a move in links, which is much easier to do in MS. Oh, tossed salad, the second uh, busted level. Well, like the third, if you count the, the castle the moat thing we just had. The timing here is a bit different than in MS. I think it's still considered a transferred route. There's also um, some routes are also considered adapted, which we'll see next, I think. Um, and that means there's some things that are changed in links, but they're very obvious and don't deserve to have um, someone credited for being the first one to score them, score them. Now, you might be thinking that why, why we have these transferred and adapted scores. But I think the reasoning here was that um, it was fair to the older generation of players who played in CC1 back in the day, and and um, and for example, CCLP3 does not do this because everyone had the same chance to start playing at either mode at the same time. This is an adapted route because of the weights, I guess. You have to weight the proper amount. Hmm. Maybe because of that block slap. Like, it's just something slight like this. Uh, in MS, you don't block slap. Actually, that could be a transferred route. Sometimes it's a judgment call if it's transferred or not. This definitely is not transferred or adapted. Boosting and sideways, like stepping and... Wait. That was it? Works so differently than in links. I mean, in, in, between links and MS. Let's see, watch that a little slower so you see what happens. And this time was first reported by... John Lewis, JB, and then I confirmed it. I think there was a... Did I just lose some time there? Wait, it's... But I do score the best possible time. Oh, well, I'll, I'll look at it later. But it did look... Okay, there. There you saw what I did. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, Blobnet. Okay, so here's the first level that I do not have the bold on. And we've been recording for almost 20 minutes, so I think I'll call it a day. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and tune in next time when we defeat Blobnet. I think I'm going to play it live. And... See if I can beat my old score of 425. Hope you come around next time. Bye.